Yo, 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 what is up everybody, Team View here, back again in Oakland, and today I bring you a video on how to make a uh, circular door, I guess, kind of like a futuristic uh, circular door like this, where it just is really, really cool, with a bunch of garage doors, and uh, I use this on my nuclear disaster base, um, it's really cool, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to make it, and it's really, really easy. Now that we are able to make like regions for interactors and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are ready for this video. Let's uh, get right into it. Boop. All right, so first things first, we will need all these uh, items, which is the interactor and a switch or a button. Um, and I'm gonna use 16 of these garage doors. Uh, these, the interactor and the button you can find at the uh, Allen's Auto Logistics store and the garage door is at the Illumi Design Shop and uh, yeah so first things first you just gotta find a place that you're gonna want to make this because it does take a lot of space let me just kinda show you what it looks like on the inside of this just so you can kinda get an idea of what I'm gonna be building here for you guys Boom. So it's kind of like that, where it's just a circle of a bunch of garage doors. It looks really cool too. And there's a lot of different ways you can go about making this, but um, this is just the easiest way that I have discovered how to do it. So let's uh, get into making this right now. Um, so once you got all these items, it's really just three items that you'll need pretty much. So once you have these items, we are going to start by um, resizing the garage door and opening up all these garage doors pretty much. Um, what you're going to want to stretch these out to is about, let's see, for the height it's going to be 18.75 going like this and then for the um, length or whatever the width would be 21 units I have these here just for measurements so next um, let me just move these up a little bit just so that we can see what we're doing next I'm gonna get the garage door right over here wait sorry uh, I'm gonna unbox it now the best way the easiest way to do this is get a bunch in a box and open them from the box that way you don't have to keep moving them around and stuff so otherwise it's not that big of a deal um, so I'm gonna just place this right over onto this just so I can resize this to the correct size oh yeah I forgot one more thing to mention is I have my uh, move and rotate settings to the lowest settings this is actually pretty important to make it easier to make a uh, to like rotate the doors into place and scale them out and stuff like that. So make sure you guys have your move and rotate settings to low settings. Um, and uh, yeah, all right. Now I'm gonna place this garage door right along here, but I'm gonna just have this like so. And oops, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. All right, so now. I have my door right here. I'm gonna just stretch this all the way out to here where it's at uh, 21 right there. And then we're gonna stretch the garage door down all the way to, oh my God, earthquake from the meteor. <laughs> so I do have my sound off, but I'll have some music in the background for this video. And uh, yeah, all right. So as you can see, this is the height 18.75 this is what we want and now uh, before we do anything uh, press number um, three that'll put you into rotate mode now once you're in rotate mode what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this door so we're gonna place this one 
as you can see don't press anything else and we'll still be able to place more of these garage doors so we're just gonna rotate this just a little bit to where you'll see the handles I kind of go off um, this is how I kind of make this is just make sure I align all these up properly and you can do this in any way you want but I just leave a little gap you don't have to do that you can have it like this if you wanted to but I'm just gonna kind of do that where it's like this and then I'm gonna place and then I'm gonna rotate I'm still placing the 16 doors that I bought so once again the handle is right there and you just kind of keep doing this all the way around in a circle you just leave it in one spot rotating it around like this and just keep going until it's all done it takes a little moment Once again there we go so this is the last one and i'll just place that there um and that is one uh part of it next part would be setting up the interactor and the button or switch or whatever um, you want to use i'm going to use the interactor and a switch so i'm going to put that over there and grab a switch now it doesn't really matter where you place these i mean like for me, I had mine on my like uh, wall or whatever, and I just I think I put the thing inside the wall or whatever. Let me just say, or it's maybe somewhere else. I don't know. I hid it somewhere. But basically, what we're gonna do is from the interactor, we are going to define the region when we're hovering our mouse over the interactor. Just press E. It will bring up this little box that we can scale. And we'll just uh, go like this. And we'll just kind of cover all these doors, whatever, with this. It doesn't even have to be that perfect since it's all kind of is easy to kind of connect together, basically. I'm just going to keep it in this area, see if this works. And that should be good enough. It doesn't have to cover everything. If you want to, you can, but let's just see if uh, this works fine. Confirm, I'm gonna hit confirm. Okay, so now we got our interactor region set. Next, we just gotta get our switch and, oops, keep, there we go, there we go. All right, now we have all this connected. And it should work if I just hit the button. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. So that is how you make the uh, futuristic circle door thing. I don't know what it's called. Okay, it's, it's a circle, circle, the It's a circular door, okay? It's really cool. Very futuristic. Now you could use like regular sliding doors or whatever. I just think it looks cooler with the uh, garage doors but hey anything is cool as long as you make it look cool and it works and now one more thing that you know if you wanted to hide all of this pretty much you just cover it with like uh, schematics and stuff let me just get it up with me so stuff like all these parts or whatever you, you can hide it do it whatever you want now you can always do other types of doors that are really cool I think uh, one of my fans uh, Henry he made this one which is really cool similar design to mine just a little different but yeah it's just a smaller door but it looks really cool with the doors kind of going through this part and it looks really neat but it is a smaller entrance to keep in mind and you can also make smaller ones like this, where it's just like four little garage door. Right? Boom. <laughs> Got a little window right there. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be a door. It could be a special little window. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I, I, I built that one. So, all right, all right, all right. Anyways, so yeah, that is how you make the uh, futuristic 
circular door whatever for your nuclear bunkers or space stations and whatever really cool anyways something cool and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful if you guys did please don't forget to uh like and subscribe and hit that bell button do all that shenanigans and i will see you guys all later eee.